Hey guys, what is up today? I come to you with my second review of the Royal Tudor. And in this week's episode, we get to know more about the other princes. So the second prince, the third prince, and the fifth prince. So to start off with, we have where Heinen is um, interviewing the third prince, which is Bruno, who is known as the genius. And throughout the land, he has the most intellect and he specializes in sociology and philosophy. As we know, all the brothers at first had hostility towards Heinen, the newest um, royal tutor. And due to various reasons why the brothers don't like their tutors that came before, it's no wonder they don't like Heinen already. So for Bruno, um, he respects him, but the but when Heinen made the announcement, said that he never went to university, that's when you start seeing the hostility towards um, Heinen from Bruno. So... Knowing that Bruno is such an uh, impressive and very smart person, he tried to use his smarts against Heinen because he stated whenever he does that to the previous um, tutors, they all quit because they cannot match up to him on an academic level. But Heinen is not like the other tutors. Despite him not going to university, he proves to match Bruno in every step of the way, whether it's beating him in chess, music, um, naming and, and quoting and uh, saying different languages, writing in different languages, whatever the case may be, mathematics, reading, whatever the case may be. He has beaten Bruno in every field he has mastered and he cannot believe that. And also it comes to show that, you know, he does make mistakes, even though he seems perfect, he does make mistakes which Heinen, you know, criticizes. He, he He's not harsh in his criticism. And all this time, really, for Bruno, all he wanted was actually a teacher because, you know, for the fact that he had tutors that were not able to do well in their field of study and be beaten by you know the person that they're teaching he felt downcasted by that and he felt like you know there's no one that can teach me so i have to teach myself but here comes this person who doesn't have a further education but yet is able to do everything that i can do but even better and all along he just wanted a teacher that can give him constructive criticism and help him along the way in his academics and further on and because of that he has gain such an admiration towards Heinen that he refers to him as master which makes Heinen a little uncomfortable because you know he's the tutor he should be calling him master you know you're the prince you're royalness and all of that stuff so that's going to be a pretty funny relationship between these two characters now we move on to the fifth prince the baby prince Lich now I cannot say I saw this coming because I did not now Lich at first, first glance, he looks like the playful, womanizing, non-serious, nonchalant type of character. He seems like, you know, the jolly guy. Anybody can, he, he's the party guy. He's living it up. And he can get ladies. He has more game than other people do because he can get ladies from all across the town. So, and also that he's very handsome. So it works on his benefit and the fact that he is a prince. So... He's not only just that. Actually, I um, the way they put it in this episode, it seems more like a facade he plays. And we see a much more snarkier, uh, snarkier, dubious side of himself. Because after, you know, he's done taking his tests, because that's what Heinen does, um, give them those tests so that he can evaluate them. He shows the side of saying, so, Sensei, who are you really? And you see the side that wants to calculate Heinen. And if anything, he's the one brother out of all of them, out of the four, that Heinen and us, the viewers, have to look out for. Because while he looks all cheerful on the outside, on the sidelines, he possibly may be pulling strings to try to get rid of Heinen. Because he seems cheerful, but he is one sneaky person. So, you know... Heinen has to be on his toes, especially towards the youngest prince. And then finally, we get to the second prince, Kai. Now, at first, when we thought, you know, he was a really scary guy, um, this guy, we thought, that's what we thought, he was telling Heinen to get lost, to get out. We thought he just hated tutors for the sake of hating them, and he's viewed as the aggressor. 
he's viewed as the most scariest prince out of all of them. But, you know, that's just by appearance. Actually, he is the most gentle out of all of them. The most softest out of them. He loves soft things. He loves small, cute things. And if anything, by the end of the episode, I think for all the viewers, they may have fallen in love with Kai and possibly he is their most favorite um, prince out of the show. And for me, he is because he just he, it wasn't even he changed completely 180. That was always his personality. But uh, up front, for first impressions, he's viewed as their aggressor. Which actually, it was surprising to see that Heinen also learned a lesson. Is that not to use secondary sources as the main source or the main base of judging others. Instead, it's better to get to know others, speak to them, and understand who they are before you can actually say that you know them based on such and such so at the end of the day Heinen also learned a lesson and it just goes to prove you know Kai is actually a really amazing person and actually he's very gentle and he's actually grateful towards Hein for speaking to him because all the previous tutors before him wouldn't speak to him and even wouldn't even want to hold a conversation with him because he looked too scary so for him the fact that Hein was the first person to do so, he hold he cares for him a lot. And we're gonna see some very sweet and heartwarming um, moments between these two characters. I think that's these two characters are gonna have the most normal, aside from him, you know, touching him touching um Hein's hands and saying that they're soft, they're gonna possibly have the most normal relationship out of the four brothers. And we were introduced to the little sister Adele on the little princess of the royal palace so of course we're going to see her every now and again appearing in the series so that was basically it for this week's episode and now next week we can um see where it's going to go because we had to wait till four o'clock which they said for him to actually start teaching these brothers but my guess is lich may be the one to ruin that and make it may cause some problems between um all of these characters so if you guys saw this week's episode of the royal tutor do drop a comment down below on what your thoughts were for this week's episode between all four of the brothers who is your most favorite from the from your least favorite um if you want to you could tell your reasons why and also the links are in the description box as always so you guys go check that out and i'm kimmy chan of anime legends podcast and i will see you guys later bye